In this question, we are asked to consider the expansion of 3 plus x squared to the power of n plus 1. We are told that the coefficient of the x to the power of 4 term is 20,412, and we are asked to find the value of n. This is a binomial expansion question, so in our work, we'll focus on the general term of the binomial expansion formula from section 1.9 of the formula booklet. The first key thing that we have to figure out is the value of r that will give us the x to the power of 4 term in the expansion. Let's use the formula that we circled on the right hand side and complete it as fully as possible based on the information that is given in the question. In the formula, n is the power of the expansion, which in our question here is n plus 1. Then we have c and in the lower index r, which we don't know for now. a, the first term in the expansion, is 3, and this is raised to the power of n minus 3, so in our question, to the power of n plus 1 minus r. Term b here is x squared, and this is raised to the power of r. Since neither n plus 1 c r, nor 3 to the power of n plus 1 minus r, includes the variable x, the power of x in the terms of the expansion only depends on x squared to the power of r. The term that we are working with here includes x to the power of 4, so we can write that in this term x to the power of 2 to the power of r, which we can write that x to the power of 2r, is equal to x to the power of 4. We have the same base on both sides of this equation, so we can write that 2r is equal to 4, hence r is equal to 2. The next key point to recognize here is that the coefficient of any term in this expansion can be calculated by using this part of our expression. We figured out that for the term where x is to the power of 4, r is equal to 2, so we can write that n plus 1 c 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of n plus 1 minus 2 is equal to the coefficient of this term, so 20,412. This might seem like a complicated equation to solve by hand, which it actually is, so from this point on, we'll just use our calculator. Since we are solving an equation, your first thought might be to either use the equation solver or graphing. The reason why these two methods won't work here is that n can only be a whole number, and the solver and graphing can only be used for equations where the domain includes real numbers. So to find the value of n here, I will use the table function. To enter the left-hand side of the equation, I will press y. To get n plus 1 c2, I will press math and scroll over to probability. Here, we'll choose NCR, so combinations, which is option 3. In the calculator, we'll put n plus 1 in the lower index on the left, and using x for our unknown, so for n, I will write x plus 1 here. Into the lower index on the right, I will enter 2. This is multiplied by 3 to the power of n plus 1 minus 2, and in the power we get n minus 1, so in the calculator I will enter times 3 to the power of x minus 1. Now, instead of graphing, I will go to table, so press second and graph. On the right hand side of our equation we have 20,412, so this is the value that we have to look for in the second column. We see this number when x is equal to 7, which means that our solution is n equals 7. Of course, there are other ways to get to this result. Here, I decided to use the method that to me seems to be the quickest one. An exam-taking tip that you can use on similar questions is that, as we discussed, when solving equations where the answer can only be a whole number, using the numerical solver or graphing does not work. Instead, use the table function on your calculator to get the correct answer.